Grayson. Good evening, Mr. Chummy Warner. You look perplexed. All this paperwork getting you down? Yes. I've been in a state of perplexation all day. It's this confounded basket. Yes. Sometimes there are too many eggs for it to hold. Sometimes the basket seems far too big for just one egg. Eggs? Baskets, Grayson? Surely that sort of conundrum has no place in an insurance company 48 years from now. You'd think not, Mr. Chumby Warner. But this is simply a metaphor for the kind of conundrum an insurance company 48 years from now might face. I'm afraid you've completely lost me, old chap. Let me put it this way. The basket represents the sales floor of Churchill Insurance. The eggs represent customer inquiries made via some sort of telephonic apparatus. Sometimes there are too many eggs for the basket to cope with. At other times there are simply not enough eggs to do this basket justice. Yes, I think I'm beginning to see now. You mean that sometimes during the year, summer for example, there are just too many telephonic communications for folks to handle? Strike a light. What with all these customers calling to buy insurance off of me, I need three blooming telephonic communication devices to cope. Whereas at other times, there may not be enough telephone coming in. As much as I like these feature shenanigans, I'd much rather be talking to a customer like him. Good afternoon, Treasure Pro Insurance. My name's Daniel. How can I help? Yes. We must find a way of matching the resources we have to the level of customer demand we experience, both in our busy times and our quiet spells. What do you think, Mr. Chummy Warner? Well, I happen to have about my person this videotronic film entitled Optimizing the Match Between Sales Demand and Staff Resources to Achieve Business Objectives in 2001 and Beyond. We asked our brightest sparks to look into the problem of optimising the match between sales demand and staff resource to achieve business objectives in 2001 and beyond. Initial solutions proved inspired yet slightly impractical. With us planning for the year 2001, we automatically assumed that it would be commonplace for companies to freeze their staff, thawing them out only when necessary. However, experts on the future concluded this would not be possible, let alone practical, until at least 2003. Our next solution proved far more straightforward. Look, we are far too busy to handle your call. Go away! This approach, however, both went against our vision and every single one of our Churchill values. So we had to think again. Advertisement break. Why, you look glum, Jummy. Why, well, it's one of my Saturdays off work at Churchill, and I never got nothing to do in the afternoons. You look like the salt of the earth kind of chap who'd like his football. Well, yes, I ain't one of those Navy types. Well, why don't you get yourself off to Selhurst Park, home of Crystal Palace? What, you and me? Yes, go to Selhurst Park and watch some football with all the other chaps. Have an altogether agreeable time. Righto, but what about my mate Two Side Tom? He lives all the way up north. Selhurst Park's too far for him to come. No problem. He can go to Riverside, home of Middlesbrough. Also available in Ipswich. Welcome back. Hello. So, the ideas thus far to help Grayson solve his egg and basket conundrum proved impractical to say the least. Therefore, we removed our brightest sparks and replace them with new brightest sparks. One of the first ideas they came up with was that of training months. Training months? I like the sound of it, but what does it mean? Well, quite simply, it means setting aside time during quiet periods when whole teams of salesfolk can be trained in new products and new ideas, or even have refresher courses on the great products and benefits already on offer at Churchill.
Their next idea involved those splendid telemarketing fellows and getting our sales chaps involved in training so that they can lend a hand when our telephonic communications drop off a little. Well, that sounds good. Bet it'll cost a few bob, mind. Well, actually, no. Because telemarketing is part of the sales floor, costing is low because the training period is short. Well, that's the quiet period taken care of. But what about our busier spells, Mr. Chumley Warner? I'm glad you asked me that, Grayson. Our new brightest sparks have come up with this one. Seasonal shift patterns. Oh. Yes, that's right. Seasonal shift patterns. This would involve working more Saturdays during our busier spells when we currently have more telephonic communications coming in than we can adequately or properly handle. And in return, there will be fewer Saturdays to work during quiet periods and time off in lieu to boot. Why, that's wonderful news, Mr Chumley Warner. I say, these new brightest sparks seem to have done the trick. Yes, Grayson, but they haven't stopped there. Already they are investigating and costing other ideas such as secondment to other busier departments such as teleclaims. Plenty for you to be chewing over. Well, yes. You've certainly given me food for thought. Yes. And by implementing some, if not all, of these plans, you would be in a position to eliminate this and this and replacing them with this and this. Well, thank you, Mr. Chumley Warner. You've shown me I can put all my eggs in one basket and eat it. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>